to my kitchen. I want to make a heritage recipe for you today. You know what? You can't get much more deliciously unhealthy than southern homemade pimento cheese. My grandmother's way. Hi friends, thanks for watching our homemade pimento cheese video. This is a heritage item for me. This was, I make pimento cheese too. Southern well. grandmother, uh, we called her Woo Woo. Now, I'm gonna refer to her as Woo Woo during my video. That's not funny to me. I mean, it's not, you know, that's what I called her. So I don't think anything about that. So that's what I'm gonna call her. And so that's who she is. She's my mother's, my, was my mother's mother, Harriet. And um, woo woo, I was the oldest grandchild, am the oldest grandchild, but I'm not the one that gave her that name. My cousin uh, gave her that name because my cousin couldn't say Aunt Harriet and she got woo woo out of Aunt Harriet. So that's that story. Uh, got lots of recipes uh, passed down through the years from woo woo and this is one of them. So I got this big old block of Kraft Velveeta. Now, as I said in the intro, you can't get much more unhealthy than this recipe, and it is good, I'm telling you. So I got the Kraft Velveeta. Uh, you could use the generic. By the way, this non-food stuff is expensive. But anyway, you gotta have it for this recipe. And I only make this once in a blue moon, which is kind of funny because we just had a blue moon. Let me get a knife to slice this up. That's funny. I ought to make it a habit of making this every blue moon. You know, a blue moon is when you have two full moons in a month. Okay. So here's my recipe. Now I've already, I've mentioned to you the other day about the olive spread and my Aunt Penny giving me a file of recipes when I got married. She wrote all these out. And this came from GFS, Gordon Food Service, so it's a five pound block. And it's actually cheaper to buy that than it was to go to the store and buy the generic, which I, the generic is not as good, really, it's not. So each of these marks is a half, and I'm gonna double the recipe. So I'm gonna need four of these halves, or these half pound marks. Okay, so all this, that's for later. This is for now. So this is not for the purest person. But this is for the people who, you know, don't mind eating off plan or unhealthy every now and then. Like I said, honestly, we don't make this that much. I, I can't even remember when I made it. That doesn't mean we don't like it. It doesn't mean it's not delicious. It doesn't mean it's not one of our favorites because it is. It's just that, you know, it's not healthy and I just don't... Um, I just don't make it often. Okay, so you see I'm just cubing up this two pounds of Velveeta. I'm putting it in the double boiler. Now in a minute I'm gonna move the camera and I'm gonna let you see closer of what we're doing here. Double boiler is one pan and another one inside. Let me get my hot pads. A double boiler is when you've got a pan inside a pan. So it doesn't have to, this is made for that purpose. It's made to fit inside a certain pan, which by the way, I don't have that one. It, it died, that pan. But I've got this one with a little bit of water, probably about three-fourths of an inch of water in the bottom. You don't want your top pan to touch the bottom of this one. So you want it to somehow fit on top and not touch the bottom if you can help it. You're just wanting to establish a, a steam effect that will melt what's in the top pan without burning it. So you've got the double boiler with the two pounds of Velveeta. I've got an eight ounce jar of pimentos that I've drained. I've got the 16 ounce of evaporated milk. This is generic brand. And then I've got my four heaping tablespoons of Miracle Whip and a little bit of garlic powder. Two things about this. The recipe calls for garlic salt, but the Velveeta is salty enough in my opinion. And 
my aunt Penny wrote down two, uh, well, I'm doubling it. She, so the original recipe would be two heaping tablespoons of mayonnaise. Um, of course, I'm doubling it, so I've got four here. My grandmother used when I Miracle Whip. So I'm using Miracle Whip today. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to bring this up to like a simmer or boil. I'm going to be standing here the whole time. And the idea is it's not going to burn when you've got the double boiler. That's the whole idea, the premise behind the double boiler. Um, don't, don't let a recipe turn you off just because it says to use a double boiler. You know, it's just uh, good to melt things like this cheese and chocolate, things like that. It's healthier than using a microwave. I say healthier because you don't want all those rays from the microwave if you can help it. And if you subscribe to that camp, which I do. <clears throat> so I'm just going to stand here. I'm just going to melt this cheese. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to open this milk and start adding some of it. The recipe says to add it after the cheese is melted, but I like to kind of add. I'm going to use all of it eventually. And I kind of like to add some of it and gives it a barrier in there, down there on the bottom. Okay, my water's boiling can hear it. And you also want to watch out and make sure you don't run out of water in your double boiler. I shouldn't because this is not going to take long, but I'm going to keep a track on eye on that, you know, make sure I've still got steam coming up. And You're looking at this wet head this morning. Got up, washed my hair, which is not a daily occurrence. And uh, the hair dryer had died, so, you know, we got a wet head. We're gonna to have to find another hair dryer. So that's why you got the wet look. I don't know. Some people might like that, and that's great. But today I don't. Okay, I'm just slowly adding this milk to this two pounds of Velveeta. Now two pounds is what the whole. Remember, I got this five pound deal from the big place. Um, two pounds is what your standard grocery store Velveeta type cheese food, whatever it's called, is. Uh, pasteurized prepared cheese product. Hmm, it's kind of scary. Now, I'm going to tell you funny, and I wish he was here, but he's not. It'd be funnier if he was here. So, um, I went to the, the big place, GFS, Gordon Food Service, the other day to get a couple of things that my husband sent me to get. When I was out, a couple things he likes from me. So I, I texted him when I was there and I said, I'm mad at you because you sent me here and now I'm having to see all these things that I could make a video, videos with. And I was teasing, of course, if you follow us, you know that we get along just fine. He puts up with me and we tease and, and we are happily in love. But anyway, so I got several things, most of which are not healthy. Ew, why do I do that? Um, and so one of them was the ingredients to make this pimento cheese. So got home and told him what I got and he was so excited. So that was Friday, I guess it was. And then Monday I had indicated to him that I was going to make this video or make his pimento cheese. And of course I wanted to make the video to show y'all too. So Monday it just didn't happen. I mean, I got a lot done, a whole lot done. I schooled the kids, which... When I say that, I mean book work. We, we believe life equals learning, learning equals life, but book work, we did that. We, you know, hot and heavy on Monday. I got laundry done. Uh, I can't even remember what else I got done, a, a lot. So I, he came home and I was so excited to tell him what I got done. And jokingly, of course, but he, he looked at me and he was like, so where's my pimento cheese? And I said, okay, so I didn't get that done. And um, jokingly, of course, he acted frustrated, but, you know, secretly he was disappointed. He said, I was hoping to come home. He said, I thought of that cream cheese all day, and I was so excited. And so I didn't get it done yesterday either, which was Tuesday, because it wasn't as good a day as Monday. And so this morning I thought, I have got to get this done for him. You know, I could pave the driveway and paint the house. And he still would say, where's my pimento cheese? 
So, you know, I'm making his pimento cheese for him. He loves this stuff. All right, so I'm going to just continue to stir this around, and what I do is I just add the milk along as I'm stirring, and I'm actually going to add this garlic powder now, too. You add that at the end, but I'm going to add it now so it can get good and incorporated while I'm um, stirring. So I'll come back to you when this is all, the cheese is stirred up and the milk is incorporated. Okay, we're back, and that was literally just shy of two minutes to get it all good and uh, melted and smooth. So all I do now is just add this um, Miracle Whip. This will be four heaping tablespoons. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write down below the recipe that I'm making today, which is double. So you, you know that you can half it, okay? And then I'm going to add this, um, let's see, this was eight ounces, seven or eight ounces of pimentos. That's it. I'm actually going to turn the fire off because I don't need it now. And then I'm just going to stir this up. Okay, now it needs to refrigerate because if not, it's going to run all over your sandwich, your bread. And I'm going to talk to you about bread. You know, why put this on good, healthy bread? I mean, it would be good on it, but keeping in the tradition of my southern grandma, woo-woo, and Mr. Patient's southern grandmother, I bought something I rarely buy, and that was sliced white bread. Uh, in fact, little, Miss, little music man said, Mama, don't buy that stuff. It sticks in our mouth and it's gross. I've taught them to not like it. And it's true. I mean, we don't buy it. Again, once in a blue, I don't even buy it once in a blue moon. I just don't buy it. But for the purposes of, you know, as a treat, I guess. I don't know, some people wouldn't look at it as a treat, but I bought it to eat this and to show you. Hi. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, there's a bandit walking through my kitchen. All right, okay, that's it. So here's that bread I was talking about. Actually, it's bunny bread. I don't know if they even have that in places other than the South. But. So here's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna take a picture and I'm gonna send it to Mr. Patient. Now, remember what I said, it gets, you know, firm when it's in the refrigerator. So you don't eat it hot. You know what? You could probably, I just thought, you could use this maybe as a dip or something. I don't know. We've always just done this. But put it in the refrigerator and get it good and cold. I'm actually going to pile it up and then send him a picture. Tell him I didn't get the house painted, but hey, I got this done. There it is. It's going to flow out. Thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoy my grandmother Woo Woo's Southern Pimento Cheese. Okay, y'all, Mr. Patient just walked in from work, took his stuff all hat off and all, and I'm gonna video his reaction here, I'm working on my YouTube. Okay. Come here, darling. Am I, do, am I your darling person? Yes, and you <laughs> are too tall for the thing, for starters. So, um, it looks like we have to go to the bathroom. Let's not do that. Okay. Looks like we're doing some kind of fancy dance. <laughs> what do you want? Um, he wants to be seen at the stockyard. Be seen. They don't know what that is. These people that are watching, it, that's a Nash. Okay, forget it. Why do we deviate? It's a commercial for a restaurant that used to. It I is guess in they're Nashville. It's still in Nashville. We don't have the money. Stockyard restaurant. We don't have the money or time or babysitters to go to nice restaurants and or big, any restaurants anymore. Their big advertising gimmick used to be you got to be seen at the stockyard. Okay, that has nothing to do with this. Most of our stuff has nothing to do with anything. That's true. Okay, so look, 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 look what I'm giving him. Look. No, stand there. Hey, look, it made. Look at what you got. Merry Christmas. 
that was five pounds of Velveeta. Is this seriously? <laughs> is I this worked all? hard. Like okay. Is this all it made? That's not five. Look, that's not five pounds worth of Velveeta, guys. So she's got some stashed Get somewhere. Back here. She's got I some. I told you. You you tell you tell me. Thank you. She's got some of it stashed somewhere. <laughs> Are supposed to say thank you. Thank you. No, no, I'm not listening to it now. <laughs> thank because, you. Hey, I need you to stop. I need you to stop because I didn't use all five pounds. I doubled the recipe. I used two pounds. I thought you'd be all excited. See, I, I told all, them. I'm all excited. I, I just, just thought we were getting five pounds of pimento cheese. Really, you are never <laughs> satisfied. I'm tired of this because listen, I told them. That you would be excited. I, I told them. Excited. Can you see the grin on my face? Okay, so he's going to learn to be nicer. <laughs> he just stuck his tongue out. And this is like really, you really. This is like really, really unhealthy stuff, but this is like I really, really, really good stuff. There, that makes it more unhealthy. White bread, where's the mayonnaise? <laughs> oh, that's right. Tell them what else. Okay, so I forgot you put mayonnaise on the bread when you're making mm -hmm. this. And um, tell them what else you like to do sometimes with it. Jelly? Yeah, tell them. Yeah, pimento cheese with mayonnaise and jelly. The yeah. jelly gives it, gives it some sweetness and it's, oh. What are you having for supper? Of, tongue will slap your brains out good. Oh my word, what are you having, having for supper? Brain, brain, brain. I'm having this loaf of bread and these three no, pints of eating. pimento cheese. You're not eating all that. And a quart of mayonnaise and a pint of grape jelly. Okay. And maybe so, some water and some chips. I don't know. No. Okay. Oh my word. No or wonder we got a chocolate work, milk or work something. on our oh. health. Okay. Real quick. Tell them where to go. This is the end of my video. Oh, but this is a heritage thing for me. I grew up with Velveeta pimento cheese. Wait, and, did your grandmother make this and recipe? And bunny bread. Sure. Because I mean, mine did. I didn't well, know yeah. she made that recipe. I just knew she. Well, had I don't know about. I don't. I don't know. I mean, she made pimento cheese out of Velveeta. Velveeta pimento cheese, yeah. Okay. I don't know if it's the same recipe, but Velveeta pimento cheese. Okay, I didn't mm, know that. Heritage. I didn't realize Grew up on that. This stuff. So follow us yeah. on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, yeah. Facebook, Pinterest. and you can Pinterest. Okay, and you can check us out on our webpage at www.heritageways.com. Did I do good? Yes, honey. You, you did great. Did good. I did good. You did great. Well, what if that's all I got done today? It fills my belly and satisfies me. <laughs> that's not all I got done today. I schooled your children and washed some clothes. Okay. Except I didn't make supper. I mean, but... I got it right here. <laughs> okay. I love you. All I right. Love there you, you more. go. Bye, y'all. There you go. Bye, y'all.